He's only gained since he started getting indicted. Uh, you know, what you thought might be kryptonite for him has turned out to be battery packs. And this is a big one uh, for him. Uh, presumably, the Supreme Court will deal with it uh, uh, fairly quickly. And I expect that they will leave him on the ballot. I do think it would rip the country apart if he were uh, actually prevented from running, because tens of millions of people uh, want to vote for him. I think if you're going to beat Donald Trump, you're going to probably have to do it at the polls. Former Obama senior advisor David Axelrod there warning dumping Trump from the ballot would, quote, rip the country apart as Trump's legal team could file challenges against Colorado and Maine as soon as today after both states disqualified him from the ballot. Monica Crowley served as assistant Treasury secretary under former President Trump and joins us now. Happy New Year, Monica. What is your read on this? And, and if you were an advisor to Trump's legal team right now, what, what would you be telling them? Well, good morning, Griffin. Happy New Year. Yeah, you know, from the moment President Trump came down that escalator in June of 2015, he has been targeted uh, by the system, by the left. And they absolutely cannot believe that not only is he still standing, but he's thriving leading in all of the polls, both in the GOP primary and in the general election. So all of this is just the latest attempt to try to eliminate President Trump from the political scene. They've thrown the kitchen sink at him, and this is just the latest round. It is not going to stand. Obviously, this is uh, blatantly partisan. It's an anti-democratic move. And it's also wrong politically as well as constitutionally. David Axelrod is exactly right about this. So I do suspect that the Supreme Court is going to move uh, to throw out all of these attempts and allow President Trump to be on all of the ballots. But remember, Griff, the process for the left is the punishment. This is They know it's unconstitutional. They know it's not going to stand. They don't care. They simply want to continue to harass this man, to try to weaken him distract him and drain his resources. That's what all of these legal attempts are about. Well, and it's about what Jack Smith's uh, cases are about, all of the fake impeachments, all of the fake indictments. That's what it's about. But, but, but Monica, set Jack Smith in, in that aside for a moment. I think what David Axelrod may be the lone sane voice in the Democrat Party right now because he's saying in the more than a dozen states, I believe it's up to 13 now, where the Section 3 of Article uh, uh, 14, uh, 14 Amendment, is basically saying that the president engaged in an insurrection, something he's not been charged with and certainly not convicted with. Therefore, it doesn't hold up. We hopefully will have the Supreme Court weigh in quite uh, swiftly in this, and we expect it could be a fairly unanimous decision because of the legal standings. But at the end of the day, the, the Democrats seem to be trying to remove him in what would be the greatest disenfranchisement perhaps in presidential history over something that doesn't actually exist. You know, the left has been hitting him nonstop since June of 2015, and certainly over the last year with the FBI raid on Mar-a-Lago. And then you've got these uh, four indictments with 91 counts where they want to put President Trump in prison for like 750 years. You've got these two fake civil cases against him, now trying to remove him from the ballot. There are so many people, yes, on the left, who are motivated to try to eliminate him from the political landscape. But you also have now uh, people on the left, like David Axelrod, but also like Gavin Newsom. You've got some big leftist uh, legal scholars who are saying the 14th Amendment does not apply in this case for a whole variety of reasons. He was never charged with insurrection. He was never even uh, accused of it, except in a political context, but not in a legal one. So you have voices on the left who are now seeing, Griff, that this is rocket fuel to President mm -hmm. Trump, that his numbers have gone up, not down. And like a superhero, he has been strengthened by this, and now they're realizing yep. it's backfiring on them big time. We'll see what happens. We'll see what the Trump legal team does and what the Supreme Court may or may not do in the coming days, hours, weeks. We'll see where it goes. Monica Crowley, thank you very much for taking time. Thanks, Griff. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.